Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I am up early. It's five o'clock in the morning. Um, can y'all hear me? Let me bring you in some, baby. Let me bring you in some, girl. Okay. I'm up early. Um, <clears throat> planning. It's Monday, 4th of July, and I'm up early planning to do some stuff. Um, I mean, just planning. Um, and what is it? Uh, going to go to Longview this morning. My mama gave me a list of everything she's cooking. And I was, uh, I was a little intoxicated last night when she was talking to me and I was like, I'll be there at 11 o'clock in the morning. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> My uncle, her brother has a smokehouse. Those of you from the country. You know what a smokehouse is. It's literally a little house that you could put stuff just out in the open, hang it up, and it'll smoke it. Be there all night, all overnight, and it'll just smoke your meat for you. When I tell you that food is divine, this is why I've gained 3.5 pounds. Anyway, y'all, uh, things have been very challenging here. Um... Our transition to Texas has not been as easy as we had hoped for. Um, only because the way that things are going right now, as far as the inflation, everything from the gas prices to the food prices. When I tell you, baby, the food prices are ridiculous. Um, we noticed that certain things also here in Texas, flat out, the cost of living is more expensive in Texas. We are a little su surprised by that only because we're on the outskirts of Dallas. So we're thinking, why is this? Ugh. So that's going on. We had to pull JB out of counseling because it's just right now we're getting close to school, right? And so um, I need those funds to start preparing for his uniforms. And when we buy his you know, his clothes, we have to get them um, embellished with the school logo. That's a good $300, y'all. If you, yeah, you buy him all new shoes. So $95 a week for surgery, sorry, for therapy isn't a priority. So what I've done, most organizations um, have an employee assistance program. So what I've done is reached out to my employee assistance program and my job and they're gonna look for someone, thank God, and they're gonna, I get six free sessions. So, look, I was having such a, I'm gonna try hard not to cry. It's just been a lot, you guys. I mean, and I'm gonna get to what I had to finally do to settle down because it was escalating into a mood of, I was really upset every day. Not upset, I was either depressed or just, I almost over it. Every time I woke up, I had an over it, I had an attitude, and it was really starting to affect everyone around me. I'm just gonna be honest. I, I'm account. I hold myself accountable for that. Anyway, so it was a long drama with the EAP because they gave me a list of people. Every time I called these people, either they no longer are part of the EAP program, or they don't even service children. It's 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 a little disheartening to to even look into mental health resources right now because a lot of them don't see children. Did y'all know that? <laughs> 18 and over, like kids don't have problems, and they do, especially nowadays. So I broke down crying in the middle of the appointment with, with trying to figure it out. Because mind you, I've been dealing with that entire process for about back and forth for about three weeks. And she was like, man, are you okay? Do you, you can speak to a therapist now if you want. I said, I'm okay. I said, I'm okay. I just, this is just, it's just, I'm going through it right now. So I'll have to follow up with them. I'm gonna put that on my to-do list. Follow up with them. Um, it may take a while. So I will, especially with the holidays. I will follow up with them on Thursday. Um, at the very last minute, I had to find another uh, summer camp thing for JB because we're going to be traveling a lot more, like going to my family, going here. And I didn't want to really depend on the lady that's locally. And y'all, there's something, 
one thing that I would advise all of you, regardless if you have children or not, listen to your gut instinct. And something about this woman was telling me, mm -mm. first red flag, I'm not going to give too much because you don't know who's watching your videos, but you know, I'm not even going to get into it, but I just feel like besides us traveling and doing stuff and I have to do a little bit more prepping JB for school, I can't, we can't really go that route. And my gut instincts is telling me not to do it. So I pulled him under that. Last minute, I had to find another camp for him. So all of that, um, yeah. So let me put this down here. Follow up with, what is her face? Your lead. Um, and then just, just stuff around the household that I got to do, like setting up AC services, setting up inspection services. But here in a minute, I'm gonna have to have my husband do take over all that normally. That's what I do. I manage all that in the household, but because I'm so overwhelmed with this stuff, I can't. So y'all, let me hush up. I gotta go ahead and, like I said, build out my schedule for next week. This is another thing, summer camp. Um, we have to pay for summer, summer camp, excuse me, at the private school. And I'm not, we're not paying for that. So she sent me home with a bunch of stuff for JV. So I just have to figure out, we have six weeks until school start and I'm going to sit up here and draft out a six week plan to help him. And I'm going to have to recruit my husband too, to help him with stuff. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. Y'all, it's a little hard and I don't want to, my husband's first language isn't English. He did not go to school here. So he really can't help me with some of the stuff, the basic stuff, yes, but he's educated. Well, let me just say that. But I would be, I can't sit up here and expect him to know how to do some of this stuff and assist JB because hell, some of us that's, that was born and raised here can't do this and to help our children. So. I'm okay with that. I just gotta spread it out over six. You know we're back. Uh-huh. So I'm just gonna pop the That's the potato salad, yum. Ooh, look at those beans. Mm -hmm. okay. What type of cake is this, mama? Um, uh, good question. Okay, you know uh, what? Sour cream pound cake. Sour cream pound, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And you make this cake right here for uh, somebody? Yeah. <coughs> is this sour cream pound cake? Is, are people coming by getting bear claws today? Or? Yeah, I ordered 150 bear claws. All these are here. All of those? Uh -huh, and these uh, belong to somebody else. Okay. But if they don't show up, and he doesn't show up, I got someone they're gonna buy some. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. This is with ribs. Ribs and, and okay. chicken. Ooh, that smells good. And this is, uh, what do you call it? Short ribs. Oh, short ribs, mm -hmm. okay. And chicken. Okay, chicken. Mm. Y'all, yeah, my um, daddy is putting David to work, child. You have to excuse my parents' backyard. They are they they are pack rats. They're hoarders. Child, I knew he would put him to work. Guys, this is my aunt Vivi, my Amy, and she's vlogging me, and we're gonna have, and we're gonna have some fun. It's Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, you guys. What do you got to say? I don't have to say anything. I just let them see. Okay. You so yellow on here, Bunny. It really is showing up her skin tone. Like now, do do you and your mommy watch how yellow y'all both are on cam? We not that light. <laughs> We're not that light, but then you like. Mm -mm. Say hi, Bunny. Hi, guys. Say hi, Mama. Hi, Bunny. 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 Hi, this goes on YouTube, so. Okay, guys, I'm back again. Can you see me straight? Okay, is that better? Okay, guys, so we're out now. We're about to go to my other's Amy. My, we're going to our other's, my other great aunt house to go get what the July food. <laughs> And that way, I'm nine years old. So y'all, if y'all think I'm seven or eight, I'm nine years old. Get it straight. But like I said, we're on our way. How you do it? I'm saying hi to. Hi. I don't like the glasses. 
<laughs> Have a book of July, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm. Are you pretty used to being on YouTube? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, you went a long time ago, like 2016. Y'all went to some type of vacation. See, see this. Thank you very much. And I can hold it too. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, we're heading home. Really, really do admire. So, just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I look. I have no problem let you guys know that I'm interviewing. What is it, baby? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm gonna look at a couple more things on my laptop and I'm gonna stop, okay? I promise. And I'm gonna, you want me to start cooking dinner soon? Okay, you want the fry still? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know if you want french fries or not? Anyway, y'all, Um, let me tell you something. I'm gonna have to do another chit chat because Pea Valley, baby. It is very dark. I won't try to give any spoilers away, but it's a little dark where they're going. Um, God, y'all, I am so tired. I'm working nonstop. I literally have been working at my job since six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. I've been working at my job. I've been working for nine hours. I am so. When I tell you I'm tired, you guys, I'm not getting any new skill sets. But we ain't gonna talk about that much. I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be making for dinner. I'm gonna be making something called Chipotle cream pasta. I'm a little loose. Chipotle cream pasta. Um, anyway, y'all, so yeah, I'm gonna make this pasta dish and I'll show y'all. Um, another thing I was doing this morning is running to the store and getting um, some weed killer and just stuff around the house, look. If you want to own a house, just know that it's a lot of work put into it. Like, we just moved here six months ago and I'm still having to contact a AC company and to make sure they come out and do regular maintenance. I need to contact a pest control. Um, so I went to Lowe's to pick up some like pest control stuff and also for the, for the weeds because the weeds are getting out of control. We do have someone, the guy next door, he does um, clean the... Um, Sorry, he does more our lawn. Um, JB was supposed to go into a camp. Baby, we went all the way to Terrell, Texas, which is just 15, minute, 15 minutes away. So the camp got there and there were signs on the door that says the camp is closed. So I came home, contacted them, was like, okay, I need my refund back for my money. Um, baby, you are gonna have to go there at least two days because they have a very strict policy. You can go to bed. You don't need nothing to wake you. Just go to bed, y'all. Look, if I could, if I didn't have no job, no bills, no stretch marks, I would be taking a nap now. JB, you'll be fine, baby. So, um, what was the talk of my girl? I had so much fun, y'all, in East Texas. Now, what I want to do is just go there and stay put. But because I'm still visiting people, I literally made three trips to my aunt's house. Granted, she lives like right down the street from my parents, but still, in 102 degree, 104 degree weather, yeah, I was tired. We got home at around 6.30. Kilgore is just an hour away from us. I, For me, I can do it in 45 minutes, so no problem. We're gonna be back there. Uh-uh, don't do that, JB. That's my work, no, don't do that. That's my, don't do that. Do not play with that. Hey. Yeah, y'all, this is why I haven't been doing a lot of hair videos because one, I'm not doing my hair. Two, it's so busy that I even have video, I have content um, recorded, but I just haven't had the chance to edit it. I just haven't. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna do this in the morning because I'm tired, y'all. I've been trying to map out his homeschool, excuse me, his summer school stuff for a week now and I just haven't been able to do it. So, enough of me complaining y'all. Next up you'll see me making this food, okay? You guys, here is my chicken chipotle pasta dish. This is a very simple dish for me. It's a rip off from the dish that uh, Cheesecake Factory sells. So, 
I'm making two different versions because I'm going to have heavy cream and mushrooms in mine. I'm not going to add it in my husband. So it's, uh, honey, I can't even give you a recipe because I put everything in it. Garlic, onions, jalapenos, um, green beans, penne pasta, heavy cream, mushrooms, bell peppers. Yeah, like three different types of bell peppers. Chicken stock is a lot. You can find a similar recipe here on YouTube if you're interested, but it's very, very good. You can always add different types of vegetables, spinach if you wanted to. The um, Cheesecake Factory does asparagus, but I don't really like asparagus. Yeah. So that's my pasta. This is my chipotle. This took me about 45 minutes to make, and here is the final result. Packing my husband some, and here is mine with all the cheese. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.